Another day, another video game dev or journalist saying something stupid and getting ratioed for their wrong opinion. And today's contestant in this is one David Jaffe, who you might remember as the game director of the first God of War game. Not the 2018 one, but the original God of War game and a, I think it looked like a creative producer on the second game. He didn't work in the third game. Recently, he had a very bad take that has gotten him ratioed out the ass where he was complaining and shit-talked Metroid Dread and said it was a bad game with bad game design because he couldn't figure out to shoot at the ceiling. Now, I wanted to be impartial as this as possible, so I've been watching some of his other videos regarding the subject. And hell, if he had talked about certain sections in the game, I'd also possibly have to defend him and agree with him. I mean, I even got lost in the Di uh, the Diron Cataris area trying to figure out which floor to shoot. And that led me, made me think about something. That made me realize that there are some mechanics in the Metroid game and Metroidvanias in general that aren't really as intrinsic to video game uh, to people who are playing the game for the first time. Case in point, one of my favorite YouTubers right now, J uh, Josh Stripe Hayes, by the way, amazing channel. Go watch him. He's far better than I'll ever be, and he's a thousand times bigger than him. Not sure where I'm really plugging him, or uh, bigger than me. Not sure where I'm plugging him, but he has made uh, his. He's originally started out with like the worst RPGs ever kind of section of gaming, and now he's created a second channel where he's talking about like single player games that he personally enjoys and he wants to try. One of the games that he most recently did was uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, basically the other half of the Vania and Metroidvania games that really started the trend of Metroidvania, and. His perspective on it was a fresh new one because he had no prior experience with Metroidvania games, and it showed. Uh, throughout the entire video, he was talking about how he liked the game and because he akined it to Dark Souls, where you had to kind of like get used to the weight of your animations as opposed to the enemies attacking you, and it's kind of and it's a difficult but fair combat that's like f difficult for what it is, but it's rewarding. And throughout the entire video, I was thinking of like animation lock. And I was just so confused. And then as I watched his gameplay, I realized something. He doesn't know about the ways to remove animation lock when playing Castlevania or Metroidvania game because it's his first game. Because it's his first game, he's not doing the iconic short hop into attack to utterly remove the delay that weapons have in that game. Obviously, to someone who has played lots of Metroidvania games, that's just second nature to us. We don't even really think about it. Like, seriously, I want you to go turn on, go play Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, Symphony of the Night, and I guarantee you one of, the, one of like the first things you're going to do when striking at the enemy is short hop into attack without realizing it if you played Metro, if you played any Castlevania Metroidvania game as of recently. Because it's just so embroiled into us because we have been embroiled into the nature of Metroidvanias for so long. But someone who's brand new to the topic, it's not going to be as intrinsic because it's not clearly there. And had he gone with that line saying, how is someone new to the series supposed to understand this? I'd have to defend them again. However, the room he was bitching and complaining about was bad was a room that gave very clear signs of what to do. Now, in the video that he showcased where he was talking about, oh, it's bad game design because how am I supposed to know this through the ceiling? How is anyone supposed to realize this? Well, for one, earlier in the game, the game literally tells you, hey shoot certain hidden blocks and he was like oh what hidden blocks how are you supposed to know they're hidden blocks and then you get a very clear image of a a wall that's blocking your way and then another side of the wall that you can shoot and then as you shoot forward as the message at the bottom saying some ways forward will be hidden by hidden behind hidden blocks you're able to shoot through it and advance on and then later on after he gets to a, a literal dead end because there's no way forward there is a room that he was like, how are you supposed to figure this out? How is anyone supposed to figure it out? There are multiple compilation videos of people seeing the enemy on the ceiling, seeing the enemies through the ceiling, and their first reaction was, oh, let me shoot here. Oh, look, here's a hidden pathway. But instead, he doesn't use the free aim, he fights the enemies poorly, and then he not only lies, but straight up obfuscates the truth by showcasing the enemy way off into the corner and killing it literally the least functional way properly because he's not using free aim. And then he somehow blames the game for bad game design? Fam, no. That's not bad game design. That's you being bad. I'm all for games having accessibility to be easier to people if the developers decide it should be. 
But in this case, this isn't a case of accessibility. This is a case of you being bad and then not willing to accept that you are bad. Sorry, not sorry. And now you're getting ratioed for it, and you have this this uh, like stance of, oh, if you don't agree with me, you're just a fanboy or an idiot. Because that's a real good way to get people on your side. Just call them idiots, and anyone who has any kind of differing opinion is just bad or stupid or a fanboy. Real good way to have people get on uh, get people on your side. Don't choose this as the hill to die on, man. Don't choose this as the hill to die on so that you're known for the rest of your video game career. Not as the guy who created the God of War, but as the guy who is too stupid to shoot the ceiling. Just, just don't. Just accept the L, move on. Again, if he had complained about the Catarist Diron section, I could give him some flat I could give him some slack there. But he complained about an area that perfectly showcases and even places an enemy that doesn't rush you and shoot you from range as a sign of bad game design. Metroid has always been about this, and the game quite literally early on tells you that sometimes there's gonna be areas like this. And then the game literally puts a perfect showcase of what this medium can do better than any other medium, showing and not telling you the solution. You are showcased a room, you have been told that you have the access to free aim, and you, there's an enemy in the exact spot where if you shoot at it, you'll reveal those blocks. But again, because you are bad, you didn't do it, and that's on you. Oh, it's been a while since we've done one of these, huh? Either way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later. Bye.